Hey guys, how you doing? I want to talk a little bit about G-plat wire. Um, now, here's the thing with me. I was very skeptical about this shit, you know? Why wouldn't I be skeptical, you know? Some guy comes up with this fucking wire with the name G-plat on it. <clears throat> and he makes uh, claims of, you know, more smoke, more taste. What I, I mean... Correction, more vapor, more taste, okay? So, you know, after debating for a while, I, I actually purchased it. And I don't know what to say. Maybe my taste buds are fucked up or something. But this shit right here tastes and produces the amount of vapor just like fucking Cantal. Yeah, just like Cantal. This, this thing does not... Listen... I tell you something, when when you put this in your RDA and you dry fire it, you, you, you start seeing that this the you know how the wire is all shiny now? It's all shiny and shit. But once you dry fire it, it becomes kind of it, it the color changes, it gets darker and the shininess goes away. This does the same thing as Cantal. Wouldn't it be some shit if this is Cantal? Just like Cantal? If this is the same shit. Because in my opinion, it performs the same. People say it's... It's softer. I guess it's softer. I'm not... You know, maybe it's different than Cantal, but fuck. At least I know that Cantal is Cantal. You know? I don't know what's in this shit. And I, I've been vaping with it for about a week now. And I don't notice a difference in taste and flavor. You know, even, you know, I'm, I think this is like a 0.3 ohm. It's the same shit to me. I mean, I can show you guys. That is off G-plat. And whenever I made the same, it has a lower resistance for some reason, but whenever I made the same uh, setup, I got it to like 0.3 ohms on Cantal, 0.3 ohms on this G-plat. It ended up being the same shit, so I don't know what the deal is. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys the way it vapes. And this is all personal opinion, you know. This is a 4 9 mod with a Scalaire head. I got here, I believe. I can't remember if I got 20. It's one of the lower gauge wires from them. And it's using the G plat that everyone's going crazy about, you know, paying ridiculous prices on. That's the vapor produces. You know what? I'm gonna try to do it from a different angle for you guys. Okay, do it from here. Do one more hit for you guys that want one more hit. So I, I know some of you like looking at videos. I know I do. That's why I'm assuming that you guys do too. Video of people blowing smoke. You know, some people. Make videos and say, I don't want to waste your time with smoke, but come on. I, I think most of us enjoy it, so why not? I also have... I have one more feeling about this. Okay. Actually, let me start from the beginning. I received this in this packet right here with the wire and some cotton. Now, I ordered different size gauges. Why the fuck doesn't it say what kind of gauges on this shit right here? Okay, that's one. I guess that's my complaint, you know. Why didn't they put the number? Okay, complaint number two. Why is it that they're so afraid of you know, they're so afraid to give people a better, you know, more information regarding what's in it, you know. And, I mean, they're already fucking safe. They say, use your own product at own risk. It's not saying, you know, it's not being very specific on what use this is, you know. So, you can't really sue them because, you know, they, they're already safe from that part. 
And I, listen, I, let me tell you this. If on their website they told me exactly what this is for, if I said on their website, hey, listen, this is a G plat, this is for your atomizers, this is for vaping. If they were, if they just said that, I would have a better feeling about it. But just be, but it's it's fucking weird, man. You go on the website and they sell these wires, and that's it. Boom. See the wires, you order it, you get it, and that's it. They don't say what to do with it. Now, you guys might be thinking, hey, you know, it's common sense what to do with it. But if they said on their website, hey, this is for an atomizer, for vaping, for human use, something, but, you know, between those lines, I would feel more confident. Why is that? Because they're, they're having right now a liability issue with this shit, you know. It, by them not saying that, they're pretty much risk-free in terms of lawsuits and, and all that shit. So... That makes me think they're not very, they are not very, uh, what's the word, what's the word I can use? They're not very, uh, they're not like, oh, this is fine, this is good for you. This is just like candle. No, they're just, they're just telling us the mix of alloys and shit and I'm supposed to believe it, you know? Probably is, but what kind of alloys? Am I fucking inhaling something shit that's going to give me cancer in 20 years? You know, is this the next asbestos in 20 years? You know, shit like that. So... That, that that's my opinion on it. I'm I'm still using it because I don't give a shit. You know, if I'll find out if it's bad for me sooner or later. But that's my opinion on it. And G plat.